Hello? Testing. Hi. <laughs> it's Damiana. Here I am. This a uh, what what a what a fun thing, huh? My first Facebook live video. Well, here I am trying it out, seeing how this goes. Okay, full disclosure, I just did this on Instagram. Had a ball and a blast and I and I would love to f- link them all together and make it all one, but I haven't yet. So now I'm doing my first Facebook live video. Oh, hi guys. Oh, here you guys are. Hello, hello. Mark Ferrara. Hi, hi guys. Well, cheers to you with my McDonald's winter mocha. <laughs> it's quite tasty. And no, I'm not. I'm not getting paid for that endorsement. <laughs> I just enjoy it. Well, you know, I'm sitting here on my couch in my winter poncho. That's a fashion poncho. And my festive holiday bow, naturally. And I thought, why not check in with you guys? Say a quick hello, check in, and just do it. Oh, hi, Seven McDonald. What inspired me? What inspired me to do this live video? Well, you know, I, just, I, I, I needed to connect with the people. I've been sequestered away all winter just watching the first eight, or I guess that's all, all eight seasons of Castle, just watching them in a loop and just uh, engage in a very deep fantasy work in which Castle is my lover. And But, you know, I wanted to interface. I wanted to check in. I haven't stepped onto a carpet in a minute. And I figured it was time. It was time to... Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Seven. I, I thank you. You know, I'm just wearing my most festive look. And I figured it was time to uh, to say hello. And, and that's another thing. I thought, I'm sitting here all alone on my couch in my festive fashion look. And someone's got to see this. <laughs> okay, I'm not... That would be actually unethical if I kept this to myself, all of this fashion. That wouldn't be right. Thank you. Th- I, thought, I, thought for, I thought for both my health and others, it'd be important to share, to share this much look. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mark, you've got a similar necklace? Thank you. I get this from uh, Beads by Terry. Oh, she's great. You, you, you can find her in uh, Rancho's Palos Verdes. She's got this little boutique... And uh, she'll hook you up with some real, uh, real fine beads. <laughs> oh, where's Tanya? Well, okay, Tanya's in Reno right now. She's she's doing this uh, Liza Minnelli uh, review, but only f- of more obscure, lesser-known gems from the Liza Minnelli canon. Uh, there's going to be a lot of numbers from The Rink. <laughs> you know, that, that that's a gem that gets overlooked. Great, great musical piece. From the early 80s. Yeah. Oh, you gotta check. Yes, Mark, check her out. You will not be sorry. Terry, tell Terry Damiana sent you and she'll hook you up. Okay. Oh, good fun. Good fun. Well, okay. Well, I'd love to know what your guys' uh, holiday plans are. I'll tell you what mine are. Okay, I'm calling up Barbara Kathy. I'm calling up Tanya Roberts. We're getting on this couch and we're just watching Hallmark Channel holiday movies and we're going to play some drinking games. And anytime... Any of us weeps from our own loneliness and despair, we must drink. <laughs> I think we'll get through that first battle, uh, that first bottle of uh, peppermint schnapps pretty fast. <laughs> and I'm just talking about me. I know that Tanya's got dibs on the on the JD and Barbara. Okay, Barbara, she's a gin gal. She's a gin gal. She'll she'll be on, she'll be on there taking a tipple. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Shannon Kelly. Oh, thank you. I, you know what? Thank you. I'm feeling pretty in my festive bow. I think this was the this was the piece that topped it off that really uh, made me made me feel like the look was complete. Truly. Oh, Joel Christopher. OK, I, I got to let Barbara get out of the basement. Well, if she'd let me in, she she went. OK, she came over for a sleepover. I think it was three nights ago and she hasn't come out. And she locked the door. She said she needed to. Uh, she she needed to work some stuff out. And I've heard, uh, you know, there's there's some there's some uh, some heavy furniture pieces in storage. And I heard things getting hacked into bits. <laughs> I think I think that's healthy. She's working through her anger. I think that's good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. So so Barbara. So Barbara's great. And I think when she comes out of the the basement, there will be five less. Uh, wardrobes and armoires in there, but there'll be a happier Barbara. And I think that's that's the trade-off. It's a worthwhile one. Uh-huh. Oh, mincemeat pie with rum. Yes, Shannon. Okay. <laughs> that's that's a recipe out of my playbook. <laughs> have you been looking at my personal recipe book? Uh, yeah, I, I have this binder in my kitchen, on my kitchen counter of all my favorite recipes. Okay, it's just a, it's just a post-it pad with scribbles on it. <laughs> 
but uh, it works for me. But I will share one of my, um, oh, seven, I know I worry about Barbara spending too much time alone. I, I, I'll check on her. After this, I'll go down there. I mean, she's barred the door, but maybe I'll slip some notes under the, un, just underneath the door. You know, just, just to make sure, make sure everything's uh, kosher in there. Okay. But, okay, here's a holiday recipe from me to you. This is a, my holiday gift. Uh, I call it the peanut butter giggle. Uh, what you do is you're going to need a, a jar of Laura Scudder's peanut butter, smooth. You'll need one bag of raw cookie dough. You can get it in the freezer aisle at, at the grocer. You'll need a, a baking pan, okay? And also a knife, a stirring knife. All right. Oh, and maybe a bowl of table water can be helpful. So what you're going to do is open the jar, take the knife, stir it until it's smooth, until the oil blends with the peanut butter. Then pour it onto the pan. Next, pour the cookie dough also onto the pan. Then take the knife and insert the peanut butter and cookie dough into your mouth. Voila! <laughs> Done! <laughs> That's that's the peanut butter giggle, and you will be giggling. Every mouthful's a giggle. That's what I say every every Christmas. Yeah, it's it's quick, it's easy, it's fun, and when it, it when you're cooking for one, <laughs> as I am, oh, I put on Castle, I get my peanut butter giggle out, and I got a night. I got a night ahead of me, and it's real yummy. <laughs> oh yes. Um, oh oh oh. And, and lest you forget the table water, that peanut butter can stick in your throat, as can the cookie dough. That's where the water comes in. Pushes it right down. It's, it's also a great palate cleanser. If you have some sherbet, in, which is also a palate cleanser, but if you have that, make room for sherbet. <laughs> and I always say there's room for sherbet. Oh, am I worried about the raw eggs in the cookie dough? That's a good question, Mark. That's a very good... Oh, and you're welcome, Seven. Yes. My pleasure. My pleasure. You know, it's, my, it's a holiday gift. That priceless, timeless recipe. It's been my family, okay, I, by family I mean myself and my stuffed animals, for, for, for decades. But um, I, I, I am a little worried about the raw eggs and the cookie dough, but I find that um, the peanut butter keeps everything down. So I think that's, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, uh, it, it just levels the playing field. And that's not a cooking term, that's just me, but, um, it, you know, it's effective. Uh, Oh, uh, everything has E. Well, see, that's the thing, Mark. Yeah, everything's got E. coli now. It's like, if if I can't have romaine lettuce, fine, I'll swear off salad. You don't want me to be healthy and eat salad? Fine, I'll have a peanut butter giggle, and I'll find some way to get my E. coli. <laughs> I'll work it in there. Because you got to work it in. Uh, let's see. Oh, Joel says, uh, I should bring that to the Drag Race premiere in case an interview starts going south. Good point. You know what? Saved by a treat. That's from the Lady Reporter playbook, and this, I mean, ask Barbara Walters, ask Diane Sawyer, ask Meredith Vieira, they'll all tell you, have a snack on you, because when that celeb gets cranky, you just slip them a snack. Just slip them a snack. And I'm telling you, their blood sugar's dropping, because they've been on that carpet for God knows how long. Probably Ryan Seacrest was holding them up at the beginning of the line. <laughs> he always does. And that's why the rest of the reporters, we all hate his guts, we're always shooting daggers at him, because... He won't let those celebs come down the line to us because he's just yapping at them. <laughs> okay. No, no. So what you do is you slip them a snack. And what better snack than a peanut butter giggle? It's hard to transport. Knowing me, I would probably just stuff my pockets. It's a little messy and you can't really put much else in there. But if my pockets are just brimming with peanut butter giggle, I'll bring a little spoon, spoon out a little spoonful of that cookie dough and peanut butter goodness, Stick it right in their mouth. <laughs> What's Kelly Ripa's husband's name? Mark Consuelos, right? Let me tell you, if I encounter Mark Consuelos on a carpet, oh, he'll be getting a mouthful of my peanut butter giggle. <laughs> Mark my words. You heard it here. Oh, okay, let's see. Um, exactly. You can't eat lettuce anymore. It's not fair. And if I can't have lettuce, uh, uh, you got to find a good substitute. You know, and... Any dietitian will tell you that. If you can't have a certain food for whatever dietary restriction reasons, find a substitute. I find that peanut butter and um, sweets, any sugar-based good, is, is an apt substitute for actually any food. And absolutely any single food. Mm-hmm. Th seven, thank you. I should write a... Okay, I gotta write a book. That's the next thing. I got to write a book of all my red carpet tips, recipes, 
surely. Fashion, I mean, you you know, next this time next year for the next holiday, hopefully you, that'll be a stocking stuffer that will be available for the holidays, and it's for and it'll be for everyone. Has Rue ever tried my peanut giggle? Well, okay, here's an exclusive between me and you. You maybe you've heard the the Rue's hit single peanut butter, peanut 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 butter. You know, Big Frida's in there. Where do you think she got that? Where do, what do you think inspired that? Yeah. Yeah. It was a, that was that mouthful of that sweet, sweet peanut butter giggle. <laughs> and Rue and I, we've had some fun on some carpets, and maybe you've seen on YouTube, perhaps. I'll tell you, the reason why we're having such a ball is right before the camera started rolling, I was there with my spoonful, and it was dripping with goodness. Sweet, sweet goodness. <laughs> Rue wrote the whole song to, dedicated to that experience. It's an apt tribute, and I thank you. <laughs> I think, and I thank Mama Rue. Oh, friendship advice. Okay, friendship advice. Yeah, so, yeah, no, yeah, exactly, Mark. No, no, it's true. That, that, that's an exclusive. So you're getting it here. That's why you got to come see my live videos, because I got these hot exclusives coming in hot. Okay, friendship advice. Seven, you know, you came to the right person, because have I got some words of wisdom for you? Okay, I got to tell you, recently, my next door neighbor, Jacqueline, we were in a dispute. She thought I was too loud. It's because I played Castle on a loop for the last two months <laughs> at, at full blast. But, uh, and, and also wept loudly, but, so she was mad at me. And I consider her a friend. I, I come over there to her place often, not invited, but I, I sort of, you know, I, I knock on the door timidly, and she opens in a crack and says, oh, I'm not falling for this again. And I say, no, this time I swear, uh, I, I just need to ask you something real quick. And as soon as there's a little open in that door, in I come, plop on the couch, and I'm ready for a, a girl's night. <laughs> and I find Castle on her Netflix, put it on, of course, and it's like I'm at home, but I'm at her place, so it's like my place, but actually clean enough to be able to walk across the room. At any rate, Jacqueline's mad at me right now because of all the noise and all the ruckus. So my advice, this is what I what I plan to do. I haven't done it yet. I'll keep you posted how it goes. Have a peace offering. Of course, that will involve peanut butter giggle. That goes without saying. What also might be, it might entail a, 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 another gift giving. And uh, I will be going to uh, my local CVS. And, you know... I always see Jacqueline scratching those itchy feet. And I just know she needs, she's probably got some real bad athlete's foot. I'm going to, I know the perfect peacemaking peace pipe Olive Branch to offer is I, next time I come over, when I knock on the door, she'll open it a crack, and I'm just going to hold up that itchy foot cream and say, hey, Jacqueline, I heard you got some itchy feet. You're welcome. <laughs> and I just know our friendship will be mended just like that. And, oh, there'll be tears. Tears of joy. Tears of friendship. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm tearing up just anticipating it. Okay, okay. CBS is 24 hours, right? Right after this video, I, I know where I'm going. I'm getting some itchy foot cream. For Jacqueline. For Jackie girl. She doesn't like me to call her that. But but I like to. <laughs> I, find it, I find it endearing for her. Uh, I'm a good friend. Oh, let's see, Mark. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Mark, you saw me in the peanut butter video shaking my... You th you probably thought it was the pit crew in Rue's video for peanut butter. No, that was me shaking my tush. That was my tuchus in those little panties, those pink panties, bouncing up and down, jiggling left, right, up, down, this way, that. That was all me. <laughs> so, another exclusive. See, I told you it was, it was worthwhile tuning in here. Oh... Uh, Oh, thank Joel, thank you about, about Tanya and I doing another drag recap series. I adore Tanya. And here's another exclusive. Again, you will not be sorry you came to watch this live video. Tanya and I have a secret project in the works. It's not RuPaul's, but it's another project, another video series that we, we're putting on our thinking caps. We've had some sugar cushy, sh sugar, I'm going to go with it, some sugar cushy uh, sessions and also some sugar cookie sessions, but also some sugar cushy sessions to talk about it. And, and, and uh, you know, she's busy doing her Liza Minnelli review in Reno, but as soon as she gets back, we're going to put that in motion. We've got a plan. And it, 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 
here's the thing. Uh, uh, just to be to be real with you guys, the reason why we haven't done more RuPaul's is the turnaround is crazy for us. Because to, to really get it how we like it, because we like a little edit, we like a little snip, snip, cut, cut, we like it. By that time, it's already at least halfway through the week, and then the fickle YouTube viewers don't tune in. And so it's hard to do the turnaround. But maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll do this at some point. Just no edits. We'll throw the edits out the window. Who needs them? And you'll just get pure, raw, unfiltered recaps. Recaps. But I, again, I'm actually promising things I can't because I haven't even run this by Tanya. But we. But but having said all that, we do have this new video project, Top Secret, in the works. I We're excited and I can't wait for us to unleash it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, exactly. But I'll give Tanya her quaaludes, put them, drop them in her, drop them in her cocktail, and we'll be good to go. Thanks, Seven. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. Mark, does Tanya need the powder? As you're saying, oh, she needs some this, that, and the other powder. <laughs> does that even count as an innuendo? I don't know. It's pretty overt. Uh, have I ever been to Philadelphia? You know something? I have been to Philadelphia. Funny enough, in college. Uh, I, I was, I, I went to Philadelphia for, I spent a lovely weekend and a gorgeous, but I need to go back and have a Philly cheesesteak. That was one reg regret. I didn't have one of those Philly cheesesteaks. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. Uh, raw recaps. Okay. Well, that was what we could call it. Raw recaps. So we have the name. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we have a plan. Tanya and I will be on a couch Sometime in the near future, and it'll be coming at you, and it's, we're gonna have a fun time, guys. Oh, well, well, guys, I, I, I you know, again, and I, McDonald's should be putting me on their payroll, because I keep endorsing this stuff, but my M Mickey D's Winter Mocha is really, uh, to use the drag parlance that I haven't heard people use lately, it's giving me life. <laughs> it is. It's tasty. It's really tasty. Uh, and it's the only thing that's propping me up right now. Well, you'd be out of it, too, if you watched seven straight hours of Castle. That's how I spent the day today. And it, it went for the more the sun came up and it went back down. I was still watching Castle. But to me, that's a day. That's a day. Oh, Adam Greenberg's in the house. And Robert LaRock is in the house. Hi, guys. Welcome. We're having a party. It's a party. Oh, thank you, Seven. It, it's been a pleasure and delight to visit. What fun this day has been. And, guys... What fun, huh? <laughs> I feel like I, I, I've arrived in the 21st century now. Here I am. <laughs> you know, my phone has all these apps on it, and I don't know what they do. There's all these buttons and things, and the, the kids love it. Am I a millennial now? <laughs> That's what it means, because I'm doing stuff. I'm doing all the stuff. Oh, it's my good night, lovely. Mwah, Bezos. Thank you, Seven. Mwah, Bezos. Thanks for visiting with me, Mark and Seven. What fun. What good fun. But yeah, no, I, I, I feel like, you know, and I go, to, I go to my women's gym. I go to Curves, and I'm in Zumba class. And all these girls, they know how to do their they're, they're live blogging and live tweeting. I don't know what they're doing. They're doing all sorts of stuff. And I'm just over there just trying to do some, uh, just trying to, you know, do some swivel hip work. <laughs> So now I feel like a next next Zumba class. I'm when I when I see Gretchen and I see um, Janishla. Oh, she's darling. Janishla's darling. I'm gonna tell them that I finally figured out how to use all this stuff on my phone. <laughs> They'll be impressed. Oh, they're always clowning me. Well, girls, I'm catching up. <laughs> so. Oh, by the way, that reminds me, guys, I did just post, uh, check on my Facebook, maybe it's in your newsfeed, I did just do a new Damiana letter, and it, it involves movie theater etiquette, and there's some real important takeaways in there, some good uh, life hacks, and uh, it, it would behoove you to take note, <laughs> I'll just say that, and this is a fun thing, I think I'm going to do this more now. I'm enjoying this, and it's fun to just interface live, I mean, you know, and not waste a fashion look. I'm sitting on the couch anyway. I might as well make use of all this look, right? <laughs> oh, I know. Adam, I know. Janishla is a darling, and, um, I mean, you should see, I mean, the other day, we were, we, we did get into a tiff with um, Sarla. 
we were we were doing the, the we were doing the small weights, and I took the three pounder. Sarla had her eye on it, and I said, and Janishla said, "Look, Damiana got to it first. She got to the small weight first, and you just got to wait your turn. I'm sorry, you got to wait your turn. And you know what? Ultimately, I think we we smoothed it over at the smoothie bar appropriately. We all got pina pina col pina colada parties. That's what we, that's the name of this one smoothie, and uh, we toasted our pina colada parties and." Peace was restored. So that's another life takeaway, guys. P all can be mended over a pina colada smoothie. Okay. Well, that well, you know what this has been. This has been a thrill and a delight, and I see no reason to stop making these live videos. I'll be back soon, guys, and I'll be back with another poncho, and yes, a refill on my winter mocha latte, of course, and uh, yeah, probably a festive bow. <laughs> <laughs> well, bezos and abrazos to all of you. Thank you for watching my first Facebook Live video. <laughs> what a party. What fun. Pina colada. <laughs> oh, don't go. Oh, and I was just out the door. Okay, you won me over. That was hard. <laughs> oh, love you too, Joel Christopher. Mwah. Love you. Well, you know what? Uh, I do have some some chores to do in in my apartment. Uh, of course, by chores, I mean I, I've hidden different snacks for myself in different rooms, and I need to go from room to room finding each snack and then rewarding myself by uh, partaking in said snack. <laughs> so that's how I'm spending the rest of my evening. And yes, Castle will be on at full blast. <laughs> I'm halfway through season four for, I think, the 17th time. Oh, there's some good mysteries in that one. Good night. Good night, Robert. Thanks for checking in. And thank good night, Joel. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time on the next live video. This has been a party. Okay, love you guys. Oh, hi, Mars. Hi, David. Oh, uh, well, okay, I'll be back soon. I'll be back. Bezos to you. And uh, good night. And I got, I got to go check on Barbara. In the, in the, oh, my God, I forgot. She's in the basement. I got to check on her. Okay, <laughs> I better go. Thank you, David. Love to you, Bezos. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, you're staying. Oh, I know, I can't go either. It's like, this, you guys are tugging at my heartstrings. It's like, I know there's some jelly bellies in the bathroom. I know there's some snicker minis in the bedroom. And there's for sure some Babe Ruths in the kitchen. <laughs> but uh, they can wait. <laughs> they can wait. Oh, guys. Good night. Good night, Robert. Good night, David. Good night, Adam. Good night, everyone watching. And I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. Mwah. Bezos. <laughs> Pina colada. <laughs> <laughs>